Hey there, thanks so much for watching. I added some new words this week. And I wanted to talk a little bit about being happy. Oh, and Nar is going to try to get in. There's Nar. <laughs> I wanted to talk a little bit about being happy. I think it's something that people strive for. We have this idea, this idealized sort of vision of what we think happiness is, but I don't know that we're very clear about what it is we're moving towards. And with any kind of goal or idea, it's very good to get clear on that. So I think when we talk about happiness, it's important for us to get clear with what it is that we're hoping to achieve and we're hoping to feel. Because I think it's very easy to bandy about these ideas that we want to be happy. And I also want to be happy. I, I would imagine most people want to be happy. But the question is, what is actually going to make you feel happy? And what actually is the feeling of happiness for you? So I recently wrote an article that actually came out today on Ms. in the Biz. I'll actually put a link below, so if you want to read it, you can. It's about hypnosis and changing our preconceived associations with certain ideas so that we get different results. But I think that we can do the same thing for happiness. I think that we can change our minds to allow us to feel better in any circumstance. It's the idea of being able to have a choice. Um, and I know people get very sort of heated on that, like, well, I don't have a choice for this terrible thing that happened to me, or losing someone I loved, or whatever the terrible event is, but you have a choice on how to react to it. You may not be able to control the actual occurrence of the scenario, but you can choose how to react to it, and that is very empowering, and that, having control is partly what actually gives us a sense of happiness because we feel like we are the creators in our story rather than just bumbling along and being a victim. And so I would love to hear where you have control of your own life and perhaps where you find yourself being a victim because we all do it. Um, and where you could take action to, to make changes with that. For me, I find that I victimize myself in my own head when I compare my career to other people who I believe should be equivalent to me but maybe already ahead of me where I would like to be. And so I get really down on myself with that. But when I really stop and not compare, not, uh, and not be in the process of comparing myself, and really look at what I have achieved, I can be happy and proud of myself because I'm once again in control. So I would love to hear your thoughts. I'd love to hear where you are happy and in control of your own life. And I would also love to hear where you feel like you put yourself in the victim position so that you can change that. All right, thanks so much, guys. I hope you enjoy my article if you gave it a read about hypnosis and the power of your mind. And both Nara and I say bye.